Hi, Trish Hyatt here from Working Equitation Simplified, creator of online courses that help you and your horse become more skilled. Today's Working Equitation course design tip has a few parts. And remember, there's a whole bunch more available by going to the link below. The first part is, make sure that you include a couple of bend or lead changes between the obstacle, in addition to the ones that are in the obstacles. And second, the course designer needs to be aware, there's a horse coming up, needs to be aware of how many bend or lead changes are on the course altogether. At the lower levels, you don't want to have as many as each one is a pot potential resistance. And you want to be encouraging progressive development and confidence of the horse and rider. But do consider what you've included for the judge to judge and the capabilities of the horses at that level. Working equitation obstacles have five main challenges, bends and leads, straight with a stop, straight without a stop, rein back, and lateral movement. You want to make sure you include at least one of each to give the judge lots of variety. I hope you've been enjoying this series of tips. Remember you can sign up at the link below to get the rest of them and make sure that You've got... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Make sure that you've got uh, the best course that you can possibly make.